Um, there's a question being put on here which I haven't got to at the moment, Barry, which is, which is for you. But it says, I don't quite understand part of it. It says, does Barry think that an elected committee should have only one vote per person, not, as happens in Shropshire, one vote for, I think it's ex-president or ex-chairman and something, so you can end up with four votes on any issue, similar to what we just said at mm -hmm. Green level? Well, it, it was brought up at the last a AGM um, that they wanted uh, past presidents no vote. Mm. And it got defeated. Now, the, the only way that they're going to change it is, is, is to keep putting it forward and, and, and put their ideas forward. Um, you, you, have this, you, you have the difficult position where we have a committee of, on average, about 20 to 24, and we, we need a quorum of 15 before we can have a meeting. And when we've got this 24, if there are eight or nine of them that are past presidents and they haven't got the vote, we would never have a meeting. <laughs> no. So um, that, that, that is what the argument is. Um, they're, they're saying really that past presidents shouldn't have a vote. Well, if we got more people willing to do the jobs, then perhaps they can get rid of that rule. Uh, yeah. do you, what's your personal opinion, do you think? You know, um, they said here, uh, too many cooks spoil the broth, I think, the comments before. Do, do you think past presidents should have, not just at, at county level, same with the British Grand Green, I mean, you've got obviously involved well, in uh, both. Yeah, well, I, I can only speak on our county. Um, the, the argument being, for me, if the past presidents didn't have the vote, um, the, as our system is now, we would very rarely have a legal meeting because mm. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't get that quorum. Yeah. I see where you point there. Obviously, I didn't appreciate that myself. But it, 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 it's the same old story. It's if, if we can get people, and I'd say younger people, to get involved with running polls, um, a lot of, lot of what they're called the old fuddy duddies. Mm. May, may be left out at the back just for advi advisal yeah. purposes. Mm. And until you get more people willing to do these jobs, um, it, 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 it's okay saying get rid of them, but if you get rid of them, you'll end up with nothing. Mm. Mm -hmm. the, uh, there's a comment on here that um, Jimmy Parker put on that North Lancaster and Fylde are going to propose next year that a 51% vote um, goes forward. And he thinks that um, if the British Crown Green put forward a one pound um, levy for each player, there's a good chance it'd go through rather than it coming from a particular county. What's your, yeah. your thoughts on that? Is it something that the management kids admit you might consider a levy on a, an annual pound a year for something? Well, uh, well I, I, I certainly would go along with it. Uh, I, I obviously can't speak for the rest of the BCGBA, but I believe, and, and it's it's a strong feeling within my own county that that is, that is one of the possible ways to go forward mm. to, to raise extra monies. As long as it's done right and that, you know, the, the um, county associations see how the money is going to be spent, yeah. Yeah. That's, all yeah. it, that's all it needs. And yeah. I think there's every chance. I think the problem is the average social bowler just wants to go out, um, you know, once or twice a week for a game of bowls. That's right. He, he wouldn't know what the British CGBA no. stands for. No. They just want a game of bowls. And if somebody says to him, can you give me a pound a year, they'll say, what for? Yeah. You know, and I think it's got to be sold to everybody, every yeah. every yeah. one of the 300,000 yeah. whoever members yeah. it is. And I mean, and that's something in itself, I think, that needs to be established with how many members we've got. I mean, you, you just said in your conversation earlier that there's a lot of new members, but yeah. nobody knows how many members have now either passed on to the great bowling green in the sky no, no, that, or, that, that, uh, or that, just packed up. That, you know, I, comment, think, yeah. I think what needs to be doing is the BCGBA need, first of all, to get um, a name and address list yeah. uh, of everyone who, who is current, current members. Yeah. So we know how many do play. Yeah. I think, Linny, I think you've got three cards, haven't you, at one point? You, yeah. You've lost two. Yeah. You know. I, I'm, yeah. I'm in agreement that was mm. said earlier. Um, when they put this uh, pound registration, 
and who started off a painful life, that'd be the biggest mistake of all time if, if they just had a bang the year. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I do too, if, if you've got you know, a, a, a print of every player, all these 200, 300 thousand we've got, what a way to sell the game to sponsors. You know, you can you go to a, a prospective sponsor and say, we've got a mailing list here for you, yeah. umpteen thousand, yeah. whether they're selling beer or yeah. whatever it might be. Yeah. There's a possible, you know, mail shot opportunity there to, to sell to, to a, a, a major sponsor. Yeah, okay. uh, at this moment in time, you know, we, we need something like that, you know, yeah. say a proper database that someone's put on there. And uh, Jimmy Parker put another point on, you know, each bowler could be sent you know, a booklet every year of what's going on within yeah. the sport and yeah. things like that, personally through the door, it's a pound a pound or something, you get you know, a, a right, membership yeah. leaflet yeah. or something come yeah. here for the cost of printing and, 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 and a stamp, you know, um, you know that's, um, I, I think that would be something that could, could sell the game, not just to the players but yeah, also to, to possible spectators as well. Very good well. points, you know. very good points. So, um, anyway, we can, we, we've run it a little bit over, I think we're rambling on a little bit, but um, I think the, um, the, the, the there's one or two good points coming out here, um, Barry. Yeah. Um, we just have to see what the future holds, really. Um, all I can say is, you know, I wish you all the best. You're going to have a, a lot of travel in, in the next um, well, two years, and um, hopefully you, we can see your presence felt at presidential level over the coming years. And also, I would just thank you for all the work you do for the sport as well. We know, particularly in Shropshire, how much you do. And um, I think um, we'll we'll have to break up now at that particular point, won't we? We've run over a little it, bit now. It was just getting quite juicy as well with, with the BCG bit BA. I mean, I, I, one one closing note, I suppose that that I would w would like to make, sort of from uh, both a, a player and an observer point of view, that it's it, it sounds to me, sort of having listened to obviously what we've discussed today, that really at, at, at BCG BA level, there's. Um, an awful lot of basics to get right really before things can can go ahead and I just think probably from from an observer point of view when the the association has been in existence for so long that you know shouldn't we really, we really have got some of those basics in situ you know long long before now really um, which, which is you know which is a bit sad but but hey that's that's what we're that's what we're up uh, we're up against you know and let's hope that one day we can actually crack uh, crack the nut and right. uh, you know and get it to yeah and get it right you know um and i think you know until we do that we will continue to to beat to, to beat the drum that has been beat for for many many years but but sadly sort of not not made the progress that we need to well said okay anyway thanks uh, again for joining us and um, paul just popped in you, you don't have any words on anything on the program that's gone on tonight no, I've only come in to switch you off and kick you out. No, um, no it, it worked fine. Um, I've listened to the show. The, technically, it worked perfectly, so I'm, I'm happy to know. Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for the night. It's, uh, we, I, I don't know when our next show is planned for, but it'll be in a few weeks' time. So I'd just like to thank Barry for joining us, Anna Lachlan, plus uh, our radio guests, Callum, Chris Brown, Chris Moore, uh, Matt Gilmore, who's probably lying there having a sleepless night with his new um, his new baby, um, and also above all, thank everybody for who's, who's joined in on, on on the forum and for everybody who's listened to us tonight. Uh, we do our best to try and promote the sport as as we can. We're only amateurs, but you know we we, we try and uh, be entertaining. So uh, until next time, it's uh, for everyone who's talking balls and me, Mel Evans. It's only a game, so enjoy it and good night. Good night. Good night.